What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, so for so for Side Gaming, and we are live this afternoon for a little baby stream on my lunch break. Just logged out for lunch, and I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update of what we're doing, uh, or what I'm going to be doing for today. <clears throat> So, thank you guys for stopping by. Again, I am Soulful of Soulful Sass Game. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that follow button. Your boy is actually trying to get the followers numbers up. So, if you guys haven't already, please feel free to go ahead and follow your boy. And also check me out over on YouTube. Because all our VODs from here on Twitch do get uploaded onto our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check us out over on YouTube. So yeah. So let me give you guys an idea of what's going on. So like I told you guys before, we've moved on to uh, a new server. A new non-dedicated server for Atlas. And we've been, you know, grinding hard. Me and my company, Summerfelt. Um, felt lives again yes and uh yeah we've been grinding super hard we're, we're getting a lot of stuff done uh, we were working yesterday getting NPCs ferried over from this free port over to the main base and uh, we got quite a few we still got a lot more to get done but uh today I think is adventure day I think I'm gonna go ahead and designate today adventure day and what that means is it's discovery friday so on this map you have these little gold boxes around certain islands these are the discovery islands that we can go to i'm gonna try and go to about three islands I'm sorry, three different grids and do the discoveries for those islands. <clears throat> so that is my plan. I do apologize. Uh, the boat is moving extremely slow because I have a lot in my inventory. So my plan is... And drop the sails. Drop the sails. Drop the sails. Thank you. So my plan is to do two by two boxes on all of those islands so I have foundations I have beds I have walls and I have doors alright here's the idea alright we're gonna put a two by two I'm sorry a one a one by two I'm sorry a one by two so there's two foundations wide one foundation thick I'm gonna have a door at one end has a bed on the inside and it's gonna have a small box Inside the small box will be a, a chair. What you do is you put the chair down on the ground, you get your discovery point, you pick your chair back up, you put it back inside the box, and you fast travel from the bed to the next point. So my objective is to try and one here, so that way we can fast travel here, and get that discovery point. Move over to B2. I'm going to try and get... A fast travel point somewhere on this island. I don't actually know where. Cause I don't know where they've put their flag. Right. <clears throat> I don't really know where they've put their flag. So, and they're still in peace phase, or they are in peace phase. So I don't, I can't attack them anyways. I'm not trying to attack them. I'm just trying to put down a small fob. So that way we can get our discovery points. Even if it's somewhere like way out here. Or even like because this is outside of the box. I don't. Like, I'm looking at their circle. Circle only is here but I, I, I'm assuming it covers the whole island. <coughs> so we'll find a little small spot. Throw down a little small one by two. Throw a bed. Throw a, uh, a box and a chair. Get those discovery points taken care of for me and my crew. And then that way, when people log on this weekend, everybody can get their discovery points and then we can get that out of the way. And then, um, we can get that all situated. Okay. 
Can y'all hear me? That is the question. Okay. You can't hear me. Alright. I have been noticing for the past week, I've been doing a lot of streams, and I have been forgetting to turn the headset on. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up noob rule. Noob, sorry. Noob uh, move. Completely forget to put turn the headset on. Like, for real, for real. And it's hilarious that I've done that. Like, I don't know how many times. Uh, enemy foundations over there. Enemy foundations over there. Enemy foundation is right there. Another one over there. I just need this to go blue. <clears throat> so this might be a trick. See, look, see, somebody already did it. You know what I'm saying? This is what you need to do. They got a foundation. They got a bed. Chair. Discovery point. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to get my discovery points and setting up something so that way my, my clan will be able to do the same. Um, <clears throat> so let me find a spot. I can put down this foundation. And the reason why I didn't just get a discovery point, because I've already been here a couple times. Ah, there goes one. All right, so right here, right here, right here. Nope, that was not what I wanted. Thank you. No. gonna troll me today that's fine we'll do it like that <laughs> just like that door Put the box down in the back first. Okay. What goes inside the box? A chair. There you go. Put the chair down. Put the bed down. Boom. Oh. Got to bring ceiling. Are you kidding me? I forgot to bring ceiling. Yeah, I did. I completely forgot to bring ceilings. I can fix that though.
It's not that hard to fix, though. I can fix that. It just requires me to have to gather materials and put them on my smithy and my boat. Oh, I the word. I got... Don't need that. I will need the metal. I don't need the flint, though. And I will need the flint. Yeah, I have some stone, I mean some wood and fiber on my bow, obviously, for, for mats. Get rid of that, get rid of that. <clears throat> Alright, that should be enough. Let me, uh, let me go spam up a couple of ceilings. I technically only need two ceilings for this one. And the reason why I'm making them out of stone instead of wood is two reasons. Some of these islands that I'm going to be going to, they're hostile islands. And I don't want them to just walk over and destroy the bed. Right? And I don't want to put the structure somewhere where... You know, it's easily destructible or noticeable also. Like you saw how far that was. That was pretty far. It's at the Freeport. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can quickly make a couple. How deep? It's deep. It's deep. Okay. Somebody asked me the other day, why do I put these triangle foundations or triangle ceilings on the side of the boat like that? I got that from... What's her name? I think it's Whisper... Yeah, Whisper Bird. That was her idea. That she puts the triangle foundations with the ropes hanging off the side. So it makes it easier for you to climb back on your boat. And when I saw it in one of her videos, I was like, you know what? That's actually super smart. Because then you don't really have to worry about the boat bobbing up and down. Or you playing the ladder game trying to grab the rope. Because the rope is so close to the side of the boat. With them hanging off the edge, as you saw... Just swim up to it. You make sure it's just long enough so it's in the water. Swim up to it. Boop. And you're right on your boat. Quick and easy. So that's where I got that from. Same thing with this uh oh, sorry, I just caught myself. This this right here, I got that from I Beastly. And I also mixed that idea with um What's his name? Yeah, I Beastie and Moshman Gaming. They both gave me that kind of idea to throw the stuff I like that. So that's what I did. Alright, so let's wrap these ceilings real quick. Right, I got stone, smithy. Yeah, there's stuff in here. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we got we got mats. I made sure to fill up the boat with mats before we left, so that way we have 
stuff. There's metal in here. Let me answer him real quick. Give me one second. Swivel. Is. Good. For. Medium. To close range, Puckle. Long range. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Responded to him real quick. And here's the problem. So I can't... Can't use all of this. So... Let me make four of them. While I'm here. Actually, I might as well... You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to make the full 11 that I have, uh, mats for, and then I'll just gather some more mats. Well, I see stone was not our bottleneck. Metal was actually our bottleneck. Okay. Grab all this. Mm. All right, hold on, hold on. Now he's asking me questions, and I'm trying to think how can we make this work. Let me get rid of the stone first. I don't need the stone. Fiber, we're good on that. I have way more than I need of that. Uh, 700? Wood? Yeah, we're, we're, good. we're good. I'll just grab... So we'll do these ceilings real quick. So I have enough ceilings on me to now do, I think, three of the discoveries in the area. So we should... There's two here... Or six. Uh, I can only do five. I don't think I'm even going to do five. So we got one here. Two. Three. That one's done. Four. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Has that one got a square around it? It does, actually. I can just make another 
another one when I get there. Two more when I get to that one. So I'm trying to do the ones that are in this grid. Right? <clears throat> Closest to our grid. It's going to take a while. This is going to be an all-day project, pretty much. And then we'll do more defenses things the next time. It's funny because there's a hundred ceilings sitting in one of the storage boxes at the house. And I am such a doofus that I completely forgot to grab ceilings. There we go. See? Go inside the box. When you spawn in, you look inside the box, there's a chair, boop, grab the chair, put the chair out here, get your discovery. <clears throat> if it doesn't give it to you automatically, you might. Sometimes it gives it to you automatically, but there you go. Minimal space used, and it's completely enclosed. 10,000 on the walls, 8,000 on the door, and what's the foundation saying? 10,000. There we go. That's all we need. Two by one for that. If we need to expand them, we can always expand them if we have to, but I doubt we would need to because these are basically just for discoveries. Um, we can always add, what, like a resource chest to each of them. And that way we can store like resources either from off the islands and then come pick them back up at a later time. But and we need to we actually need to get into the Discord and see if we can drum up a trade. That's what we kind of need. We need a trade. We need some more types of metals. So we got some journeyman um, blueprints that would really work. Especially for the cannons. I think we got a couple of cannons and a couple. I know we got a legendary uh, ballista blueprint. I would love to go ahead and throw on. And it had like a hundred and like 65% damage. I was like, what? So, yeah. Put that away. Resources back. Yes, I did. I painted the emergency box. You got hammers. You got everything we would possibly need in, in, in a case of emergency. Except for buckets. I forgot to grab buckets. But being the fact that I'm on here by myself, I'm not gonna need I'm not having I'm not gonna have time to bucket anyways. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm just not. I'm not gonna have time to bucket anyways. So that's that. Alright, where am I going next? I am here. That one's done in this zone. I need to go over here. Hit this one in B2. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that in B2. And then, well, there's not one in D B3. Okay. I thought there was one in B3. <clears throat> that looks extremely familiar. It looks just like our island, actually.
in a way, yes. The way the harbor sits, it does. All right, let's get out of here. I would have bought the brig, but the schooner needs to be leveled. She has cannons. How much gold do I have on me? I don't think I have any gold on this boat. I have eight coins on this boat, so no. I was going to grab a couple cannoneers, but get that. <clears throat> I'll just fish for flossum. That helps with getting. Um. <clears throat> so actually, let me respond to him real quick. Yeah, because I don't have... Uh, no, it's not A1 that has the shops. Sorry, chicken, I was looking at YouTube. Uh, but in... On the admin island, actually. On the admin island in C3, they have shops. There's shops somewhere in the center of the admin island. I don't know exactly where, but that's what they said in Discord. They said the shops are on, on their island. So you could try that one. Trying to get us some discovery spawn points done. It needs to be done so we can all get our discovery points because <clears throat> I did two of my discoveries from the beds that you all have already placed down and now my max level was up to 56 I know topic max level was 51 so he still has opportunities to get more If we can get quite a few more, we might be able to get maxed out at like 70, which is very useful. That'll be a lot of stuff that we can learn. Because I know I need like, I think I need like 32, yeah, I need like 32 points to get Greek fire and puckles and everything. So I can start crafting that stuff for us also. So I'm trying to get to here, but that means I need Greek fire, and I need mortars, so that's 22, and then 10 here for the puckles, so that's 32 right there alone. That's a lot of points, <clears throat> and the only way I'm going to get those is if we increase my discoveries, so that's what I'm doing. I'm actually heading in the wrong direction. That one's already been done. All right. 
kind of got to turn around. And this is going to take forever. One, the boat is extremely heavy. I have so much weight on me. So much weight on me. Uh, yeah, the boat's at nine, uh, 7,000 of 9,000 pounds because I have so much junk on me. <clears throat> All these foundations and walls, they are causing a lot of weight. So even this schooner is not getting very good like speed. So this is going to take a while. That's why I'm not trying to do all the discoveries today. I'm just trying to do enough of them so we can get some more unlocks. Because if my max out is at 70, I'll probably be happy at that point. But I think that's going to require maybe two or three more discoveries. Your max is now 71. Dude, you, you need to teach me where you've been going and what you guys have been doing. Holy crap, man. How many discoveries have y'all done? That's crazy. That's good though. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what my day is going to be like. I'm just going to be sailing around, setting up discovery point, spawn points for us, so I can get mine maxed out as well. <clears throat> Have you done the ones like the center? like a center cluster or did you like how far out did you go because I'm only trying to do like this center cluster right and then maybe a couple and maybe maybe one in a3 or two actually it is two in a3 that open water I gotta be careful usually the SODs are right out here You've pretty much got all the ones I was going to hit, so, alright. That's perfect. <clears throat> well, at least now I know what my max level will be once once I get most of those. It'll be about 71. At least we don't have to go to each and every island to get a discovery. Thank goodness for that. I get it. Believe me, it, it'd be hard to keep track too. So, that was a good idea to put it in your phone like that.
Try and keep the boat in the wind. I mean, man, if I wasn't so heavy, we'd be flying right now. For real. one on this little small island out here if I had to give me my discovery point because it's technically not that close to their island and I might be able to get away with sticking it out there without them getting notified I would like them to not blow up the building that I'm going to construct. That would be very useful. Thank you. Turn a little bit. There we go. Let's get some better wind in our sails. Oh. Am I going to get lucky to get some money? Can I get lucky and get some money? I don't want to get lucky if there's no SODs out here trying to kill me. Alright, closer. 3.9 Actually, I can't even complain. I need it. Let's get it. Alright, I'm gonna jump in real quick. Don't even have oil in it. It's oil on the boat. Point nine doesn't seem like a lot of gold, but technically, if I can get about, I think, what, like 40 gold, that's eight NPCs. I got six ballistas on the back of the boat. That'd be good enough for me. All right, 
where is it? Is it on this side or the other side? It's not on this side, because I would have spotted it by, by now. It's over here. Uh, okay. No. Ah, it is over on this side. Wait, the game said it was a 3.9, now it's telling me it's a 4.0. Okay, right. I'm not questioning it, I'm not questioning it, I'm not questioning it. Bloop! Let there be light. How about that? And we got new blueprints. More blueprints, please! That look glitchy. All right. <clears throat> Get out of here. I don't want to sit out here too long. Game, stop. Stop freezing on me. Thank you. There we go. Head straight out to the wall and keep going. take forever with this boat being so slow <clears throat> well I might as well figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner tonight we got some time to waste and topic tech is going to be I guess it's going to be streaming BlizzCon this afternoon so if you guys are interested in seeing what's going to be going on at BlizzCon, you guys can check out Topic Tech. Actually, he's currently live right now. Do they have it? There's another upgrade. Whoa, you drift away off course, my guy. Yeah, I would have put it into weight, but <clears throat> I think 10,000 weight should be enough for this boat. Uh, without all the crap on me, I'm at normal weight is 5,000 pounds, so that's half weight. 
and that's with all the resources and over 200 ballistas and 200 cannonballs on the boat uh, so I think that might be good enough for us I'm gonna start putting points into resistance and sturdiness once we get that high enough then I'll go ahead and increase the power Fall off. Really? With it bobbing up and down in the water, I missed that throw. And more coins that's nice <clears throat> all right so i think i got enough coins to go get crew so i'll bring some crew back let's see ninety crew yep i mean ninety coins Oh, I found out a trick, man. Listen. I don't know if it's still valuable because the video is like over a year old. But if you put an accordion on an NPC and you give him the sheet music and you take him with you on treasure maps, he'll play the song, you'll get the boost, and it's a perfect play because he's not going to make a mistake on it and then when you go up, dig up the treasure map, it will give you the boost. So next time we go, we need to take an NPC with us with an accordion in his inventory and just give him the sheet music and tell him to play right before we go in so we can get the extra boosts. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. I didn't think that actually would work, but if it works, I will definitely take those extra bonuses on that we can get. It's not like this server isn't already like superly boosted, but <laughs> every little extra bit back. right in front of me and I'm going for this little notch right here if it gives me the discovery when I get there I'll put the base at so that's the plan symbol am I cold oh, yeah. what's the temperature in the zone oh it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit yeah <clears throat> it's cold in this zone so I gotta put some clothes on
No, no. Actually, I don't think it's going to give it to me. Because the discovery location seems to be on the island itself behind it. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to try and put that right there on that beach. Where those two maps are. Hopefully it will give me my discovery points. Alright. Oops. Wrong button. What the heck is that? Is that a door? Am I saying that correctly? Nope. Pull off the spyglass. Thank you. There's a cargo crate. That's not what we're here for. Let's let's do what we're here for. <clears throat> Cause I'll get distracted so quickly. Oh I did, I got my discovery real quick. Alright, I'm gonna drop this right here. Where am I? I'm barely on their island. Okay. That's fine. That's perfect. Ceiling. Uh huh. And I need a box. Okay. What goes inside the box? A chair. Common. Damn, they got a lot of maps on their island. Okay, let me go grab a couple of these maps real quick. Mm -hmm. You know? Common. Actually, let me be careful. I'd hate to get killed by something out here. Yep, and that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Mm-hmm. 
Never mind. I got two maps. I'm good. <coughs> <laughs> yep. I'm gonna run away like a little punk. Yep. I sure am. <coughs> I don't feel like dying. I don't feel like dying. Not right now. I do not. All right. Got done what I needed to get done. It's one of the islands. Got a couple more to go. This don't seem like it's that deep, but it's pretty shallow. It, it's not that. It's not that shallow. Okay. I am kind of interested to know what's inside that cargo container, though. I could use the mats. So there is a skill where you can break into anything. I don't know where it is. It's, I think it's in piracy, where you can actually like look into a locked box to see what's actually inside of it. I gotta learn that skill. I didn't even know the skill was even in the game until I saw it being used by somebody else. <coughs> Can you stop, 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 stop? Thank you. I just want to see what's in it. Can I see what's in it? Without getting killed? Actually, I know how to do that. that are those artifact keys oh it won't let me take them I know we use artifact keys for, I think it's for the, uh, the Kraken, right? Or is it for the Power Stones? I can't remember. Alright, so we're good on that one. skirt the wall and go up to B1. And I'll probably do the other ones another day. It's going to be it for me, guys. I don't want to make bore you guys while you watch me struggle to do this. So, you guys got to see a couple of them. The rest of them are going to be pretty much the same. So, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will be back later this evening. Probably with something. I don't know. I need to play some Surviving Mars. I need to play some more. Um, 
Yeah, I need to get back into Surviving Mars so we can finish that, and then I also need to get back into uh, Farming Simulator. I haven't played that in a while. So, we will definitely be getting back into those. So make sure you guys, if you haven't already, hit that follow button. And make sure you're on Twitter and on Instagram, at Gaming. But you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out, y'all.